Uh, the talk is by on. Hello. Okay. Okay. So um, today I will talk about this generalized and intercommunal spectrum of hopelessness theory. And uh, the talk is based on my joint work with uh, Bertrand Duplantier from Saclay uh, and uh, Tai Bingley from Quignon and uh, Michel Gensmeister from uh, Orleans. So uh, to start, maybe I will talk about a little bit about harmonic measure, which motivates our uh, study of uh, intercommunal spectrum. So, uh, so you we can see the uh, compact set K on the on the complex uh, on the complex plan, and so which is the boundary of a uh, domain in the of the Riemann sphere. And so uh, we can see the uh, brown emotions start from uh, a point in the, in the domain, and uh, is this my uh, there are three possibility uh, which might happen. The first one is that uh, K is very thin and uh, the boundary bar motions uh, will uh, almostly uh, will not uh, almostly touch the, the uh, third K. So in this case we call uh, K polar. And the second probability uh, possibility is that uh, the brown motions we are uh, almost sure that's the K. So in this case, we can defy uh, the harmonic measure on the uh, borrow set of a uh, subset of K as the, the probability uh, uh, that the, the brown emotion uh, does K uh, for the first time uh, in E. So uh, in other words, we can say that uh, the harmonic measure is that the uh, heating distribution of uh, brown emotions uh, to, to, to K. So uh, is, is it interesting to, to study the uh, geometry of uh, a bit measure? So uh, well, one way to do that is to consider uh, uh, a function which, which is called the multi uh, multifractal spectrum of uh, the harmonic measure. So first, uh, first of all, we will define uh, E on alpha for alpha P negative uh, as the set of all points G on the on key on on K. So that the <coughs> harmonic measure is the case uh, the case uh, with the power law as R, R power alpha as R tend to zero. So we define F alpha as the uh, house uh, dimensions of uh, uh, E alpha. So we aim as the studies uh, this function. Uh, so now uh, if, okay. so if key uh, is the boundary of a, a simply connected domain, so we we have a, a connection between uh, the multifractal spectrum of, uh, of K and uh, the the integral spectrum of the Riemann um, the Riemann math uh, to this domain. So uh, so let's see uh, if omega is uh, about this simply connected domain containing zero. So we have a, a comfortable math, the unique one from uh, the unistic to this domain fixing zero with uh, the derivative at uh, zero is positive, the Riemann mapping, yeah. and so the so the Hamilton measure of any uh, subset uh, on the boundary of, uh, of domains is just the image of uh, the, the the Lebesgue measure, the normalized. The normalized one, the best measure uh, by the, the Riemann map. And we, we can similarly the, the, uh, connect, uh, have, have something similar uh, with the, the, the map for, from uh, the outside of the disk to the outside of a, of a, of a compact set. So, 
yes. Okay. So uh, as I said, so we, we can connect the multiple spectrum with the intergrooming spectrum of the, the conformal map. So first of all, I will define uh, the intergrooming spectrum. So um, with the conformal, well, it's here we can see the phi as the conform, conformal map from the unistic to the domain omega. And similarly here, as I, uh, I write in, the, in, the, in orange here, it means that uh, we can define uh, the same thing similarly for, for the outside, for the map from the outside of it to the outside of the compact uh, set. Okay. So first of all, we define the, the uh, integromine of, uh, of the conformable map uh, phi uh, on the, it, well, in fact, is it the inter, means of uh, the modulus of phi uh, prior to the power p for any p uh, in R. So, and then if, uh, well, we can, we, we was, we, if we, we have a, a random uh, map, a random functions uh, phi, we can define the, uh, the expectations of, uh, of this uh, intergrooming, yes, uh, like, like this. So we look at the asymptotic uh, uh, behavior of, uh, of this uh, intergrooming by defining uh, the intergrooming spectrum. Uh, of the first one, phi uh, as a point P, which is the limb of this, of the log of this intergrooming over uh, minus log one over R. So, uh, roughly speaking, if uh, if this limb of uh, is limb, so you, we have uh, this power law of the intergrooming. So this is the relation between the intergrooming uh, intergrooming inter spectrum of the, of the function of the conformal map and the multiplexus spec, uh, spectrum of the harmonic measure on the on the boundary of the domain. It's a, a type of Legendre transform. So if you so if you have a, the intergrooming spectrum, you can you can get a, the multiple spectrum of the harmonic measure on the battery. So, uh, so let me talk a little bit about the universal intercommune spectrum. So the universal uh, intercommune spectrum uh, is the, the sub the sub of uh, the intercommune spectrum of, as NEP for for phi uh, in the class S. Okay, so. S is the, the class of holomorphic, holomorphic function and injective on the disk, and uh, which fix uh, zero and have uh, the derivative of zero equal to one normalized uh, the derivative here, like this. So we define the supremum of all the um, in, integral means uh, spectrum as a phi as a point P over all the functions of the class. So we have the, the universal intercommune spectrum. So we can define also the, the spectrum for the for, for the subclass of S is the all of, is class of all functions in S, which is about it. So uh, Makarov he has proved that uh, the intercommune spectrum on uh, the universal intergrooming spectrum uh, on OS is the maximum of the of, of this one on the on the S about it and uh, the function a linear function is three p minus one. So here we can see a graph. This is the graph of the no, first one. Is just uh, we has a three phase uh, red blue and then the cyan. So this, this graph is the graph of uh, uh, B bodies. 
Okay. So this graph. Okay. So now, uh, in fact, B bar is is it is it can is it calculated is it computed so uh, to, is it proof is it proved that in the for p uh, uh, rector or equal to so this is a linear path which is the p minus one so b bounded p equal to p minus one in this part as is it proved that for p for p is the uh, negative enough. Is it, is it modulus of, uh, sorry, is it absolute value of P minus one? As it is conjecture that, okay, it's conjecture that uh, this part can, can be, I mean, this expression, uh, absolute value of P minus one can be extended to P equal to minus two. Is it conjecture? It's called a pre-known conjecture. And this part is, is conjecture that is had the expression at p uh, uh, square over four. Okay, so, so this graph is, it draws uh, is using uh, this conjecture. Okay, as uh, okay, so we have a phase transition here. If you if you consider the BP on the, the, the class S. So we have a phase transition here. Uh, the, the spectrum will follow exactly the same uh, phase uh, up to this point and then the, uh, turn out to be 3p minus one at this point. Well, uh, yes. so as we will see in the in, 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 in next part of uh, uh, these uh, presentations, the integral spectrum the average ones of uh, SLEs have the similar form of this uh, general, this uh, universal integral spectrum. So, so now we turn to, I, I, now I will define one thing which is called uh, general. In fact, what you want to do is you want to have a, a framework, a, uni, a unified framework to consider the boundaries and unbounded cases. So the idea is that if you have uh, some fees uh, on, uh, on S, in S, so we, you can we can define a function C as uh, one over uh, phi of uh, one over Z. We use uh, the inverse of, uh, around zero, zero. So the function is about it. I mean, uh, it's the boundary about it. Boundary about it. And then, uh, we can 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 define the the, the integral mean spectrum of uh, phi on of C's in using the this moment, and these moments can be raised in terms of as uh, uh, like this. So uh, this is a fraction of uh, uh, the, the moments to of phi price at the moment to the power 2p phi. So it motivates us to define the, the, the generalized moments like, like this. So the, the modulus the mod of uh, phi prior to the p over the modulus of phi to the power q. So we, we can define the, the, the integral means uh, over all the circles. Uh, Inside the disk, like this. And similarly, at all, we define we define the average one for run, random math phi. We define the generalized integral spectrum for phi. Okay, so at the same time, we can consider the the value phi as uh, the inverse one. I mean, inverse by mean inversion around zero, which is this. As we can see so in the in the uh, p time, you can see if q is to, to, to zero, so we have uh, the, the user user uh, integral mean spectrum of uh, at function phi as uh, q to p is the the body uh, is corresponding to the integral mean spectrum 
you uh, the user one of the device function. As a, similarly before, we can define the universal generalized function. Uh, uh, so we just type the the soup over the the, the plus the plus s of the generalized of the domain spectrum. So, uh, a theorem uh, proved by Astala, Duplantier, and Zinmeister. Uh, that we can stick to the, the last one that we have seen. That B equals to max for the bounded uh, of the, the universal uh, spec on the bounded uh, class and a function, a linear function, 3p minus 2 minus 1, the graph. With the assumptions of uh, the cluster conjecture and pronoun conjecture. So, uh, four zones and uh, yes, yeah, four zones into four uh, farms of the, of the spectrum B, B is the first one here, second, and the third here. So, uh, uh, as I say, so, uh, so to, in fact, uh, up to now, the, the only ones, uh, the, on, the, the only ones, uh, uh, compact sets, I mean, the full sets, a compact set uh, for who can calculate uh, a, Explicitly, the, the, the integral spectrum is the new one, is the scrambler mm -hmm. evolution. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from this part, I will introduce the, uh, the, the, the definitions of, uh, of this uh, process. Uh, we start with the Bibbeck conjecture, loner theories to, to prove the Bibbeck conjecture. For the answer to three, because the the, the scram loner evolution stochastic one is defined uh, in using this theory. I mean, just a stochastic uh, factor into this theory. So, Bibbeck conjecture is a classical conjecture, and now it's a technical. It was uh, proved by uh, the branch, and uh, the conjecture say that it's as as we define. Uh, before uh, we can write the first f as the series, the Taylor series like this. So we will be back and just that uh, the modulus of AS is uh, less than or equal to n for two n greater or equal to two. So his has proved uh, back has proved this for equal to two and conjecture this theorem. So uh, the first contribution, I mean, the first important contributions, as uh, is also important for the proof of uh, the pattern for this people by conjectures, it uh, is introduced by Lohner. So the ideas of Lohner is, is the following. Uh, is proved that uh, the class S list is a class of R F in S, so that's uh, the, the image the image runs uh, uh, each uh, slit image that is the complex plan of the, of the complex plan by Jordan Kerr. Okay, tend to extend into to T. As the last S list is dense in a topology of uniform. Uh, Okay. Okay. So, uh, so the idea of Lohner is, is uh, now it will prove the the Bibbeck conjecture for for f slit in s list. The first he will what he, he is that he will uh, embed f in the in the way of uh, 
of uh, confirm of uh, univalent maps, which is called a lonely chance, like uh, like like we see. First of all, we take F. Yes. So we consider the domain omega t equal to c minus uh, the from uh, the curve from gamma t to infinity. So we see that omega t is a growing uh, domain. Uh, it's a growing family of domains. So, and uh, so consider f t is the Riemann math of uh, omega t fix zero and uh, have the derivative as zero and we can well we can uh, characterize this uh, this uh, family of at t to have uh, the derivative as zero it's e power t as after this uh, uh, parameterizer Lunder has proved that the family at t is uh, Absolutely continuous with respect to T and that satisfies uh, a PD, which is called a equation. I'm sorry, it's here. It should uh, remove. Okay. So uh, once he have the once he have this equation, so we have these equations. Just uh, keep in mind that the function is list math, F is the Zero. So once you have uh, the we have the equations, now to prove the Bieber by conjecture we, for the for, for this, we just uh, plot the, the both of uh, these equations in series and we com compare the, the coefficients of uh, of uh, of g is equal to about two, g to power three, etc. And we we hear here that's like a two a function depending on equal to quantity and now we take the actual value of the is the a two and the some estimations we get the modulus of actual value of a two is then equal to two and we do the same for a two. And that's what the learner he has done to prove the back conjecture for n equal to three. So, up to now we see that uh, the learner chain at t uh, is equal to, uh, is, is, I mean, the, 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 the learner chain is, uh, uh, is a uh, three of uh, Riemann math of a growing uh, family of uh, domain. So, learner theory is a way to uh, to represent to 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 rise these uh, of, uh, domains of this type of family of domains, it's growing uh, families of, uh, of domains. But it's just a half of the story. We have a second half of the story that ah, maybe I need to get here. That's it. Uh, uh, in, the, in the theory of learning. so we have a driving function lambda t for any t f disease. So, so in the learner equation, we have a function lambda t, t is what is the driving function, and the driving function is continuous. So the second half of the story it does if you if you have a driving function. So we can uh, derive a family of growing uh, uh, domains by the loner equation. So take like lambda t as a continuous uh, functions. So uh, so we the loner uh, PDE uh, have the solution with this uh, initial conditions and. This the family T is the chains of Riemann math onto uh, simply connected domains, of which is uh, which are increasing. So, but now we should be careful because and uh, we uh, now we should, uh, I should notice that uh, 
in general, if, if you take a land T continuous, growing uh, domains, in general, is not uh, the, the, the slit, you know, the, the family of this domain. So, Now, so I will introduce another verse, uh, another variance of loner of loner evolutions in which uh, the domains is the family of domains family of uh, decreasing domain. So just can to look at uh, this family of domain, we can see the uh, uh, the domain. Omega t equal to d minus kt. Kt is the curve starting from one and two. Row. So at t, uh, uh, as t is in increasing, we define omega t equal to d minus k. So we can similar, similarly uh, have donor theory. For, uh, for this family, of, as uh, we have a loaner PDE certified by the Riemann T of uh, omega T is uh, this equation. So. Uh, so now I will talk about uh, the, the main objects at the at the top. This is square loner evolution. Uh, what is square loner evolution? In fact, it is the process, but with a random driving function. At least, at least, at uh, as I said, if you have a driving function, take it to the loner equation. So have a, a family of Riemann of math corresponding to a growing uh, family of domains. So now just like having function with is stochastic like this, is a Brownian, Brownian motions on the unit, uh, unit list, on the, sorry, on the unit circle. So this set this setup is done by uh, Audiscram 1999, when you consider the uh, scaling limits of uh, Luby Razor, uh, uh, work and work. and then uh, after that, uh, this uh, stochastic process uh, has been uh, studied by many uh, physicists and uh, mathematicians due to uh, its applications uh, in the statistical uh, mechanics. So a uh, road diagram has proved that for every k, uh, s to kappa is generated by a uh, It means that domain omega t now is about, uh, it unbounded uh, uh, of the complements of the curve plan in the plan. So we see that s depends on the parameter as uh, this case we call SLA case, trace, sorry. So here are some simulations uh, done by uh, Tom Kennedy for SLA curve. Yes. Uh, it's having proved as uh, there is a, there is a phases for, for the SLA curve. For K is less than, if K is then equal to four, then the SLE curve, the trace, the trace is almost um, a simple curve. A is the between the four and eight, so the the curve will uh, set it, is set into intersecting. And for K is greater to eight, so curve will fill the plan. Wow. Okay. 
here I will show uh, some um, physical uh, interpretations of SLE curve. So as I said, uh, SLE process pool or conjectures to be the scaling limits of, of uh, numerous uh, uh, lattice model, the statistical, statistical mechanics. So here we see a, a famous uh, theorem, which is proved by, uh, by does the uh, actually kappa for kappa equal to six is the scaling limit of, uh, the, of the critical population. So, so what is this? So just we start from up here and then go up it, and we will see a, uh, a hexagon. So first of all, we will fill the, fill the plan with the, the, the hexagons. Start by a point here and go on the side of a hexagon up here, another hexagon. And now we toss the coin to decide if we turn left or turn right and how we will uh, color the, the hexagon. So if the, if the, the, the coin is ahead, so we will call it white and we turn left. If it's a uh, tile, we will press black and we turn right. So with this simple rule, we have this curve. And we will see that the curve is uh, uh, it's not exact, but the, the zigzag is uh, also is uh, between the two. So it's the interest of the the, the the zones are different. So now the question is that what we will, what we will have and what we will see if we take the mass size of uh, of this uh, ten to zero. Uh, similarly, uh, size if you what we can see if we make the picture from far. So spin up. He put, he showed us the pictures. What we will see, the curves will be something like this. It's the S six. So there is another here. So another. Uh, is that uh, the this is the polar scrum and Werner uh, for the uh, and the broad conjectures of the, the slope dim dimension of plan, uh, Brahmin frontier. So here we have a is a part of uh, Brownian motion. So now we, we just take boundaries of the unbounded uh, components of, of the accomplishment of a uh, part. Yes, so just speak. So we have something. Yes. So is it called uh, frontier? So uh, my brother has conjectured that the house of dimensions of this frontier is uh, four over three. Okay. And so uh, Lolo's crime and where no, they are really. They are re they, they relate sorry they relate uh, this to SLE uh, kappa for kappa equal to uh, eight over three and uh, use another uh, uh, theorem proved by uh, by Befa who say that uh, who say that uh, the the dim the dimension SLE curve uh, of uh, parameter kappa you almost sure the minimum of two as uh, plus the uh, kappa over eight. So they prove that uh, the, 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 the house of dimension of the burning frontier is over three. So now uh, we will talk about uh, the, the main subject is it the integral mean spectrum of problem SLE 
So in so in in this subject, there are some uh, studies which carry out. The first one is the uh, is uh, the study of BDF and spin off uh, on the average intergrammary spectrum. Uh, the, uh, the bias is the stereo case. That's the, the such a, yeah. So, yes, I can continue. So, the uh, continue by this works is uh, the, the second work. And it is, uh, is uh, another work by Billy Hepp, uh, the Plantier de Meister. Uh, as the days or uh, finish the study of, of, of the, inter, the average intergrammary spectrum of uh, bodies. In that day, find uh, complete the complete spectrum of uh, this case. For the unbounded case, it means uh, whole plans as solid. Uh, the first one is the uh, the first study is, is, is uh, made by Duplantier and this master, as uh, they have uh, found the spectrum for uh, for p less than uh, a certain value, so not all the lines uh, p uh, for not all p uh, the spectrum was found, but just but uh, uh, up to a, a particular value. And by using uh, another method, which is the heuristic, uh, the physicist, uh, Lustico and uh, Jacques Girard, they, they found the same uh, result. And uh, for the generalized uh, spectrum, so uh, we have uh, some study as uh, we have a proof, we have a uh, determined this generalized spectrum for large domains uh, of the Q plants, not all the plants. So, well, so let's see, go to the detail. First of all, it's about it, uh, is the SLE. So is it the SLE defined for the, uh, in the, in the outside of this? As a bit of spin off, and the uh, they uh, prove that the spec the usual average uh, intergrammary spectrum in this case uh, three phases. The first phase is the uh, native up to highest uh, okay, here I have P two and then follow by U one another phase and finish by so, so you see that it's some it's some somehow similar to the the universal uh, intergrammary spectrum. As in the unbounded case, I mean the whole plant actually uh, in the inside of the disk, uh, it's not been proved that the spectrum will take the 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 phase uh, beta tiff. Up to part P two, as in the uh, as in the body, the body case, I follow up with uh, beta zero in the as in the body case, but just up to the uh, point P T, which is like P uh, P that uh, we have seen, and then follows by B one, uh, beta one. Which is no longer so for the supply uh, the green spectrum, uh, we want to have a find a, a framework to study the, 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 the use of spectrum of the bodies and about this. So we introduce a new uh, uh, generalization of the beta one like this, which is spent on P. 
And we, uh, we claim that uh, this digital glass spectrum has uh, four phases with the T, beta zero, and beta lines as uh, in the body case, which, uh, which, which uh, depend on Q. And so the four is the beta one. Uh, we believe that uh, um, the spectrum has the four phases because we need that uh, the the spectrum the zero line spectrum it just uh, it just determined by the singularity uh, of the derivative moments uh, a certain part of the of the of the battery. For example, the here the, the I mean beta zero the spect the, the phase beta due to the singularity uh, of the distributions uh, on the general part of the, of the, 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 the battery it means I mean the, the battery is a SLE domain. So in the SLE domain as it is generated by a curve, we have the tip of the curve. So the tip of the curve is something uh, particular as uh, the, uh, the the singularity of uh, the derivative moment uh, around the teeth, you give the teeth here. And well, between is something um, uh, uh, mystery because uh, we uh, we just get we just get it because uh, we technically to the the. Uh, Convexity of the generalized spectrum, but uh, for uh, physical interpretations, uh, we don't know why uh, this study. But technically, it's because of the, the convexity of, of the spectrum, which can be uh, by the by how do you, by uh, how do you, uh, inequality for the moments and uh, meter one. Yeah, so beta was uh, beta was is due to the unbodiness of the in, entire as a SLE. So we believe that just the four factor which will define we will define the spectrum. Uh, we we have a conjecture that uh, the spectrum is is given by four. Uh, Places like this, and to uh, so have a, a diagram of the face of the, uh, the faces, we will find the find the uh, phase transition lines, uh, which is the, the transition line in this the spectrum function. So first of all, just look at uh, the identity O equal to equal to beta one. You see that. Uh, uh, beta zero it to be equal to beta one on the middle part of a, of a parabola as the right and the left of a wind parabola. We will define uh, exactly what are they uh, in, in the next slide. Now just uh, say that is the middle part here, the right and the right part, and the left part of the wind parabola. As uh, beta zero equal to beta lin on this line, vertical line, beta one equal to beta lin on this uh, oblique line, and uh, beta zero equal to beta t on this vertical line. And so now uh, we will use the result that we, we, that we have uh, on the usual. Integral means of SLE, for example, with uh, for Q equal to zero, is it the, the, the unbounded scale of SLE? We have a spectrum up to here. We have a Q equal to, for Q equal to two, is corresponding to the uh, SLE, for plan SLE. So we have uh, the spectrum, all the value spectrum on this line. 
And when uh, is oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot it. Then. Is the the where uh, beta one equal to beta two? We have this now. So we use the result that we have on the zero spectrum. So we have only scenarios which uh, is uh, is suitable for for our conjectures. It is it is the diagram. So as we see the diagram, uh, the first diagram, diagram of the generalized intercommunal spectrum the average, uh, has uh, four zones with five times this size, like this. As we see that, it has, a, uh, this is something similar to the, the, the diagram of the usual interval spectrum that we have the simple. So now uh, we will uh, go to the, the very first on the, the interval spectrum of S, zero uh, light interval spectrum of S. So first of all, I record of the, the generalized spectrum. This is this thing. And then uh, you, by using I talk and we can we can derive and we can satisfy by the by this uh, uh, general line moment called as uh, line moment. as uh, um, is it so far uh, uh, up to now uh, the result of the uh, on the on the result on the generalized average generalized intermediate spectrum at least is beyond the space uh, of this PD this equation. So now I will first of all talk about how we can derive this uh, PD the PD study by this moment. Well, well, we are uh, we are studying. Uh, Hopland S solid, but there is a relation between uh, Hopland and the radio S solid, which is useful for, for analysis. So I just record that the radio S solid evolution is just the, the, the solution of the uh, Lerner equals this thing with the driving function is the baryon motions on the, on the unit circle. And in fact, this, this is a, a PDE. So uh, in our analysis, it's not a convenience and we want thing most to, to have a more simple uh, to be uh, easier in manipulate the things. So we want uh, a PDE. But we see that uh, we have that. In fact, T, the inverse function of T, certify an ODE. As uh, following the, the idea uh, of uh, 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 BDF, and and uh, Le Pontier, uh, Win Win, and uh, this master, uh, in fact, Win master and uh, uh, Le Pontier, they, they prove that if we we can modify uh, we can modify G to have a first FTT which have the same law as video one as the FT. And so FT as the FT note is an ODE instead of uh, a PD. So they have the same law, but once the ODE, once the type PD, so we we need the radio. With uh, certifying uh, or at TNT certifying ODE two for our for our analysis. So we we uh, have a plan which are the important two. The first one is the uh, property for the radio SLA, which is called macro property due to the macro property of the Brownian motions. 
And the second one is the uh, relation to the uh, radio SLE, antenna T, and open SLE, which uh, we our study objects. So the idea to get the PDE of uh, the general line moments uh, that we will realize that the general line moment for the uh, in terms of the function, the radio uh, function at signal like this. And then by the number two, we have a relation between the FTT and the whole plan actually F zero. So we use the relation to pass uh, from uh, this the zero line moment to the zero line moment of, uh, of F to what we want. And now uh, what we will try to find is a PDE supplied by GT and then we use uh, this relation to pass to the, the PDE supplied by well, here we define the GT and G in the two, two independent variables, G1, 2. But at the, end of, at the end of the day, we will, uh, we will let G1 equal to G2 equal to G, and we have the, the moment that we want. So it's just a general setup. Well, following the, the idea of the spin off, we define a Martin girl like this. As uh, by the marker property, we, this Martin girl reigns uh, like this to our HS and G1 and HS G2. As now we can we can we calculate the DS term of uh, the little, little derivative of uh, we guess at this one. And because, it, okay, so uh, the fact that we want uh, an ODE uh, for act, uh, for the radio uh, SLE is, is due here. Because uh, we, we, we will want to calculate the little derivative of uh, G, uh, G2, G1, G1s, G1s, it took the stochastic uh, process. So the analysis is more convenient as we, we do here, but I will not mention here for a little bit long. Um, what we do, we calculate the little derivative of the MS. We can detract the DS term of the MS. Yeah. And because there is a Martin girl, so the DS uh, vanish. So we have an impatient defined by GT. As uh, now use the, the relation between the uh, GT and G, the, the, the general line moment that we want to pass from this equation, an equation defined by G. Well, now if we set a G1, G2 equal to G, we will have an equation that is five here, as you will see, if G1 equal to G2 equal to G, we have an equation satisfied by G in general line moments in the definitions of a, a general line and the domain spectrum. As uh, here is a, uh, if we set g2 equal to, to zero, so I have a uh, uh, OD which corresponding to this, uh, this quantity. So, uh, I guess. Well, call this, uh, we call this equation the boundary equation. Wow. Well, so we we first of all we want to solve this this equation. So this equation. So we try to look uh, to to look for the, the, the solutions of the 
the power laws like energy to the power gamma, and we trick this equation, we get linear uh, combination of uh, to gamma minus one to gamma minus two, and as uh, they are like they are independent, annually independent. So we have uh, the the solution gamma, phi gamma, if i is equal to zero, b equal to zero, and c equal to zero. So as the i plus b plus c uh, equal to zero, so uh, we just, uh, uh, we just uh, care about i equal to zero, and c equal to zero. As in fact, uh, the identities i to zero, c equal to, to zero, defines a, a parabola on the PQ plane. We call it the red parabola. And it is exactly the red parabola that we use on the on the phase of some pattern uh, on the slide. Talking about fashion light. So here's the, 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 the theorem talking about reserves. For PQ on the red bar, if I by C equal to A equal to zero, so we have uh, the expectation of uh, this fraction. Now we want to play this. Thing. We want to calculate the, the zero line moment. The idea is that we will look for the solutions of the, of the PDEs defined by G of the form G equal to phi gamma, gamma bar as the functions of P G G bar. So, so when we take this form into the, the equations defined by G, we can rewrite the action of the operator uh, on this function last sum of two terms, the first and this three terms with this one. The second term is okay, the left hand side operations on uh, on F as left hand side on the on the left hand side of the equation on F uh, conjugate. So we have seen that if PQ belonging to, to the red parabolas, this, it is zero and this is zero. And the red is just to this equation. So uh, at the end of the day, we guess the moments, the zero line moment in expectation of this form for PQ belong to red. So here we have a, a, an explicit uh, expect expressions of uh, this moment. So we can calculate the interval mean spectrum, the polarized interval mean spectrum, PQ belonging to, to the red parabola. This is what we get. So besides the result uh, on the like cube equal to zero or q to p, we have the result the spectrum on this curve. Yeah. And it's <coughs> so and this confirm the conjectures. Uh, we, we we have introduced. Well, now uh, uh, now I will talk about what the quadratic functions are A and C uh, and and beta as a quadratic function that we have just seen. Which defines the, the red color. 
and beta is another quadratic function. If, uh, well, uh, in fact, if, uh, <clears throat> here we see very well uh, beta. In fact, beta is if as a kappa over two square minus c. So in the curve, in the curve, the, the, the red parabola, we have a C equal to zero. So, so uh, in fact, here is the, is the, is the kappa gamma to square two minus C. Remember C is zero here, we don't see. In fact, it's beta of step. Yeah. And here is a beta of something, here is a beta of something when uh, added by this uh, quantity. So uh, these uh, quadratic functions plays an important role in our analysis to, de to determine the, the, the generalized of the spectrum of SLE. So, <clears throat> First of all, I would like to mention a property of beta, which is called dual data. Uh, if gamma and gamma prime are loser, so that gamma and gamma prime equal to two is uh, one half, and beta gamma and beta gamma prime uh, are equal. And we define gamma lens is the, uh, the middle point of the two value minus gamma pi. So it's the uh, one half of uh, quantity. As at gamma lens, we have a gamma lens equal to uh, gamma lens uh, prime. And we define uh, the, the zero of uh, C and A to correct. Uh, as the gamma zero, gamma zero plus, and gamma one minus gamma one, and the solving of the equations to zero, to zero here, we get the expression of the zeros. And here, the gamma zero and the gamma ones are important because uh, we will see we see that the spectrum function that zero, I mean the phase that we you will picture to be the phase of the Right into the spectrum can uh, be expressed in terms of beta as the, uh, the quantity beta gamma zero, gamma one, like this. In fact, the zero, the phase of beta zero, the first zero is beta gamma zero. We see gamma zero is a, uh, a function in P as a beta, so beta zero. Minus the uh, uh, quantity to gamma zero plus, and uh, beta one is beta to gamma. So beta one is, is uh, gamma, beta one, okay, and beta is beta to gamma one. So using uh, the expression, we can now we we look back to the how to generalize the generalized spectrum. So if that beta zero equal to beta one, is the beta of gamma zero equal to two of gamma one. And uh, uh, it's equivalent to gamma zero equal to gamma one or with gamma zero to the dual of gamma one. You see, is it the dual property of a beta? So we have a bit the part at the red parabola. In fact, is the where gamma zero equal to gamma ones, and is it the algebraic equations causing bit the part? As uh, the left bright uh, green parabola is just gamma two to gamma one prime uh, dual dual of gamma one. 
And similarly, uh, look at because you're equal to beta lean, so we have uh, gamma zero equal to gamma lean. And this line transition, this transition lies that you want just uh, where uh, gamma to gamma lean. And this is where gamma zero equal to uh, minus uh, one over two. As, uh, okay, beta one equal to beta t, uh, well, you just uh, let it like uh, it just so it equations uh, uh, without using uh, uh, so without using uh, the gamma or one I want here just better just like blue cut branch. Okay. It will not affect our analysis uh, later. The phase and this the yeah and the phase that one. Well, now I will. <clears throat> uh, okay, so now I will talk about some results uh, that we have to uh, send on the, some more inside the, the very first result on the we have this, the result on the general interwin spectrum. Uh, we uh, we duplicated uh, and through that uh, we have to pull the conjecture for uh, quite large demand uh, uh, at the PQ as uh, recent and recently uh, I have uh, done some. Uh, 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 have developed the methods that we use uh, in this paper to, to expand the, the validity zones of, uh, of the um, conjecture. So, uh, well, now we define that with the chief uh, E0, uh, okay, we define that. Uh, W as the wall between the left branch of the wind parabola and the kartik is, is this watch. So we have that in this this zone respect the beta p is given by beta zero d1 here as by beta on this zone. So is it DT as the word? And uh, we pull the conjecture for the dealings down one. Pull the conjecture for a domain which is the uh, light to the left of the rest parabola, the right to the right of the wind. Uh, left branch of the green parabola as uh, above the lights uh, D3. So D3 is just a, a light block one passing uh, by uh, K, uh, um, D0 prime uh, left branch of the green parabola and the cartic. As we have proved conjectures in this part, okay, so this field is filled, the, the uh, is include the, the water that we do. As uh, recently, uh, I proved, I extend the domain of validity to this part. So this is the, the total of where the conjectures was proved up to. And uh, these zones uh, you know, is uh, where we don't, the, the, the conjecture uh, is uh, still uh, open. So here, yeah, it's not approved uh, in this year. Okay. And it, is, it, is the conjecture to be beta, uh, beta, beta one here, the, 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 uh, the spectrum? 
but uh, we don't have the, the proof. But we have a, we don't have, we, don't, we cannot prove that, uh, we cannot prove that, the respect to because we do what we prove that. Uh, the spec is the uh, body uh, from above by one in this job. This means the PQ will less than or equal bit in this job. That's another uh, result. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, so, so we define delta one. Delta one is the where uh, uh, which uh, divide the planet into two parts, as the the the, the, uh, the below part is with the ones it defined. As the essential light of the red polar, as the the red polar so, uh, partitions of these half plans. Have plans into three uh, is the uh, e minus i and uh, e plus as uh, it does in the in the genus of uh, e minus and i spectrum uh, beta pq is bounded below by beta one as uh, is bounded above by beta one on the e plus. So the methods we uh, have used to all these uh, results is uh, the principal method. As now I would uh, talk about uh, this uh, method. Well, uh, before uh, we talk about the methods, we, I just want to find some uh, notions uh, just uh, because we, we will we will uh, mention it uh, usually mention it uh, later which is the integral means exponent it is just if you have a function defined on the on these and integrable on any circle uh, uh, we center zero so uh, we define this as the episode of, uh, log of the integral means Functions uh, of the minor logs one minus r. So beta p integral means exponent of uh, function g, the generalized mode. So the idea now here is that uh, in the equation satisfied by g, see. The without p the d is the operator uh, left hand side of these equations, and we see that the right of this uh, operator of the polar coordinate, then uh, the, the operator or chance is parabolic uh, in the coordinates. So uh, so we um, we should pass the phi uh, phi minus phi plus are the positive functions on a circle uh, r radius r zero and certify that the actions of the operator on the minus is negative and on phi plus positive in this. Uh, we can uh, use the minimum principle and minimum principle uh, for this uh, operator to prove that the, of the, of, uh, the solution of the operator is the function g is about it uh, above by the phi by minus and about it below by phi plus on the uh, analysis. Uh, uh, an analysis uh, which is the, the, the neighborhoods of the, the, the 
the unit circle. And now just like the integral means and uh, using the definitions of the integral means the exponent, we, uh, we, we have that the integral means of G is the uh, about the, uh, the integral the exponent of this P minus and P plus. Okay. As a, if, if we have a, uh, uh, talk about that uh, the oh sorry here is just it should be long it's mean uh, the domain exponents of uh, of g is the uh, generalized integral mean spectrum so we have uh, the estimates for the uh, generalized integral mean spectrum so the idea is that we will try to construct Plus and P minus the appropriate C uh, plus and P minus help us to, to prove the conjecture. As we will cause the P plus and P minus, we specify these uh, properties in the subposition and superposition. If uh, the, 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 sum, the PD of phi is negative, always uh, the sub uh, solutions are equal. We say that that's the super solution. Okay. When we will construct a super and sub solution to estimate the integral the general line integral spectrum. Wow. So, uh, what we so to construct the, the sub and super solution, we need to, to start with a form of the, of, of the sub and super solution, which form we will, we will take uh, to construct. Uh, uh, well, we will construct sub and super solution uh, of PD uh, in, in using a function which is G0, the uh, solution of the uh, called uh, boundary equation. So uh, now I will tell where that this equation comes from. In fact, uh, we look for the solution of the of the of this uh, of the g. We try to find g of this form. Because in the right parabola, we have it in the, the uh, G take the form as the product of this factor and this factor, but without G0 or G0 if you want. So, uh, but now we want to take a G0. G0. Okay. So uh, we uh, just plug in equation. G and then we find out that uh, G0 is the solution of uh, the uh, this one. Okay. So uh, as uh, G0, G0, as uh, this equation can be, can, can be used as easy to uh, have uh, the German equations, so we get the general solution of U as uh, the Daniel. Combinations of uh, the two uh, hypothetic functions. Right. Okay. As uh, we see here is the in the in the, the parameter A B C there is a gamma ones. Yeah, gamma ones and gamma and gamma one uh, minus. So uh, it's just so uh, we just want to find the, we just want to find the necessary condition for that uh, the solutions of uh, PD G equal to zero has this form as uh, the condition is that zero should be the solution of the equation uh, to construct the sub solutions and solution, we define the uh, the test functions of uh, 
Wama no Jujiba, Mano Bita Gama, Jew Gama, and Jijiro Jew. And where Jijiro solution of the battery equations that we have just seen. So, uh, why is there? Is it a bit fun? Because uh, it has uh, the equation of the D uh, up to the moment, see that. Uh, uh, this the, the singularity of the coefficients is the, as the r equal to one and the, as the z equal to and at the z equal to, to one that's a particular point corresponding to the teeth of the sle so but so we we believe that uh, this part should be uh, the the singular part of the of the function g as a uh, which will uh, give uh, the uh, the spectrum, as uh, we just as uh, a bounded function here, we choose this form. The zero is the zero is the solution of the boundary equations, uh, and we will see that we realize that we consider the action of the 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 operator on this uh, test functions uh, many uh, singular terms will be uh, will be dropped yeah, as very convenient very trick uh, it, uh, it makes it uh, easier to, to to consider the the condition of the of the method okay. and uh, here uh, we take a g0, g0 equal to one as the uh, to want as uh, we want the derivative of uh, zero is just uh, as uh, this condition is just to 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 get a normalized of uh, the test function conditions will uh, uh, imply some property which is convenient for, for our analysis so as uh, in the, the G zero satisfies the condition, uh, we there are uh, some there are two uh, two subclasses which are which are important because we will use them to in, in analysis. The first one is that if gamma equal one it is a parameter, we fix gamma equal to gamma one, then G zero is uh, just uh, the constant one, the constant one. And if gamma if, uh, defies the uh, condition and gamma less than gamma to be a value, then uh, zero, zero is the uh, There are the others, uh, G0 satisfy this, con this condition in the definition, but uh, you will use just this one and this one because they are uh, suitable for our uh, analysis to uh, we can do, but uh, uh, we test, of course, we have uh, already test, but uh, they, they give nothing. Okay. So with the D condition here, with it set up, we have uh, the two properties, we have uh, the property for G0 like this, uh, G0 prime uh, at four over zero, so four equal to this, but the T as we have this at U tend to and tend to zero. We see that U is, uh, is in the integral zero for so what we do is to uh, is the in the mathematical method uh, there are three factors which is uh, important. The first is the positivity of uh, the the super super solutions, and this uh, well we we'll see that C is positive as uh, C positive as Z equal to one, which is uh, corresponding to U equal to zero. As we have a lemma which give, uh, give us uh, uh, the positivity, which, uh, 
and I will give a sufficient condition for positivity of uh, of C. Is it this one? Oh, in fact, you see, if gamma, if the minimum of gamma as a gamma prime, so minimum gamma gamma pi than gamma prime gamma one prime, then uh, G zero is positive, and then uh, uh, C positive. Okay. Second factor is the is spectrum of C. Well, is the given by this uh, by this formula as a G a G zero is uh, about it. So the you have it. And the three factor is the size of the, 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 the action of these on, the, uh, on C because uh, uh, at the depth of the sub and super solutions, uh, we, we need to know the size of the actions on the function. Okay. So when we consider the action of the function on, the, on C, we see that uh, we have this. Okay. As a uh, uh, since our test of uh, the as you uh, here we have the some single single uh, term is uh, this term at u uh, to four as a, at u equal to, okay so uh, at u equal to four since our test of the reality will be. Uh, Result. Okay, so this will not uh, appear. Zeros, and uh, have uh, the two singular term is this term and this term. Okay, and the second term uh, is equivalent to to this. Okay. We see uh, the the quadratic function C is here. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, in fact, when we, when we, what we want to, to see uh, the size of the actions of uh, P to D on C near the, the, the G, and we want to analyze uh, this. Uh, uh, the fact that it met uh, a uh, factor is this will make uh, our, uh, our analysis here. Because if not, we have uh, to consider the size of this term and something else. Uh, yes. uh, it's, not, uh, it's, not, it's not practical at all. Yes. Yes, so just take a new, uh, add a new factor, this thing. We see that the size of uh, the intercommunal exponents of uh, C will not change, but the actions of, uh, in the actions of a uh, PDD operator on the functions, we will have a new uh, new term, is this one. As uh, the idea is that, uh, as this new term uh, of uh, PDD uh, of the actions of the uh, operator, so uh, we will depend on the, the side of this term and the side of this term, but no longer this term, no longer on this term. Okay, so it's very good. And uh, we see that the side of this term can be the side. We, we can freely choose the side of, of this term. We can easily choose uh, the side of this term. What uh, important is the side of this term? If the side of this term is Positive or straight then down for that uh, all positive. If the side of uh, this is negative, the straight then for that is negative. So idea is just uh, like this. And so we have the uh, proposition. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as uh, what we will do, we want to want to construct the sub solution and sub solutions of the, of the equations that p to d uh, g equal to zero uh, of this form to okay, this form and here we have uh, some some cases so if uh, if gamma is equal to gamma you can 
we can construct a sub and sub process. And if gamma, if gamma uh, makes C cheap, then we have can get a, we construct a, a sub solution and so on for C gamma. Uh, and so, well, I have a, uh, can I can I have a some more uh, times? Maybe five minutes to finish this. Okay, five minutes. Yeah. So now it, the idea is just like this. So now we take gamma equal to, 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 to gamma zero. So equal to gamma zero as a decondition to, to ensure the positivity of, uh, of the functions as a, as a, the, and for that, for the, the person works. Uh, at the end of the day, we will have the, the spectrum. Uh, to prove uh, the uh, on the bow of the uh, of the spectrum, you just gamma to gamma gamma one. You just gamma to gamma one. So see this zone of uh, C gamma one a positive solution. Here we have a super. Solution. Here we have a super solution. And here we have a ship solution. Okay, it's, 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 it's a similar here. In this zone, uh, the characterizations of this zone. And so just like gamma, uh, near gamma uh, one prime here. So we have a, a sub solution. We have a sub solution. We have a soup solution and using the for this line, we have a soup, we have a super solution, so we have the, the spectrum. And uh, for the links, a bit, uh, uh, I will pass this, but just do the conversion of the, the, of the spectrum to improve it. Okay, so now pass to the the, idea, the new idea on the maximum principle method is that we will see that uh, the positivity is the, of the super super solutions, the side of the, of the operator as uh, intercommunal exponent in the, they are all once, only one par parameter. So, is our previous analysis. So now what to do is that we want the three, uh, two parameters. As a, for us, it's a easier for us to control the, the constraints of the maximum principle. Okay? So just like, uh, just like the, just consider the sub as sub solutions. So uh, of the two, the two of the previous, previous uh, Form. Okay. So it's, uh, okay. So we see that uh, the integral exponents in maps shows, and here we have left discussing the activity of uh, the other uh, functions. And have proved the domains on the, I mean, the rest uh, of the plan where we don't have a spectrum is the where it should be beta one. So we fix it here. Okay. And uh, to we'll decide if uh, the function is sub or super solution. So uh, in this domain, this is the characterized uh, of this domain. So we set a micro to gamma one, a uh, gamma zero. So we have a C at this function. 
uh, from the proposition we have that, uh, just as the two uh, factor which, which, which has not many things, we have the service solution here. As uh, the spectrum, the uh, exponents, uh, the integral component of this uh, B function that you give the chip here and one here. Okay. As uh, this part, okay. This part, we, we, we do the same thing, but uh, what I do is that the, the spectrum on the, on the large domain. Okay. This is a domain between two uh, light data one and that's J1 and that's one where the, the zero, they are both defined. So we, um, here there's some inverse. So uh, the, the domains will be divided into four zones. And we know that uh, is, okay, the, the rest lies, the rest of here. Okay. As a, inside the red line, you know, the red parabola, we have a spectrum is uh, bounded below low bounded by uh, beta one, one this is bounded above by beta one. And so here is the, uh, is, it, is it the condition you want on gamma uh, corresponding to the, the categorizations of the, the, if we can take a gamma which fulfill the condition you have uh, the upper bound of a beta one in this zone. Okay, so we get uh, the, the spectrum inside the red parabola. And this is the, uh, our, our proof. Yeah, so thank you for your attention. I finished my talk. Thank you very much for the impressive talk. We have questions. Any questions? No. Uh, did you study uh, uh, domains then? Like I remember many years ago, I read something on random snowflake by Bielayev. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe, no, I, I just uh, reminded, which was maybe different than what you are talking about here. Did you study other also cases? Not as in that other. Um, excuse me, so do you have a question? Did you study uh, other domains? Others. Other domains, not SLE domains, but other like uh, snowflakes, random snowflakes, or? Uh, no, just work on SLE, I don't have to. Uh, no. uh, of course. So you mentioned that these SLE domains, as you mentioned, these SLE domains are close to the extrema. Domains to prove, right? But maybe there are some other hopeful. I don't know. No, they, I just. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. So, yeah, yeah. I do well, so, so. so, pardon? So, I just mentioned uh, just a little bit about the, the, the average spectrum. Uh, spectrum uh, in fact, some of the average intergrooming spectrum, for example, is the uh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. So, uh, in, um, Makarov, we have uh, given uh, uh, some 
property does the, 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 the about it, the, the spectrum of a, of a continuum map should be defined at, for example, at the ND points, uh, at ND points uh, P, the, the, the tangent lights are just cut, the Y's X. Uh, but the spectrum, the, the, the average spectrum here, we don't have. Uh, this violate this uh, property condition, so it will not uh, because okay, this is the, the average one is will not uh, the, the spectrum of any of any uh, about math. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the lecture, for the lecture, and also, so we, we finish, right? So if there are no more questions, uh, uh, thank you again for the lecture. Yes, yes. Yeah.